Welcome to Romantic Tarot. This is Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, also ring the bell so that you know when I upload all the content and when I go live, which I do expect to be tonight, so we can have our new moon discussion where I'll do tarot card predictions for each zodiac sign. I'll timestamp it afterward. I usually go live and do this. It's about a two hour ordeal. So uh, get ready for that because the Aquarius new moon looks to be actually a very, very lovely energy that is intensifying as we get closer. So we'll talk about that later on tonight. But right now, what we're going to do is the romantic tarot. This is going to be projections out from next weekend to next weekend out to the weekend afterward. If you're looking for predictions for this weekend, then the Romantic Tarot is already up. That's already on my profile. You can see it under Romantic and Love Readings. It's a whole playlist. So we're going to start at my top of the Zodiac, which I always start with Scorpio because you're loyal and um, ever so faithful following and support of the channel. I always am so grateful. And remember, there is an extended reading that predicts who is coming towards you, which is up to potential zodiac sign and facial characteristics, features, and personality traits, maybe even occupation of the person that could be coming towards you. So that link is below. Let's get right into Romantic Tara. All right, Scorpio. Yes, I write down my timestamps time stamps as I go so that um, by the end of the reading, I can put the timestamps up as soon as I put the video up. So, and then nobody has to wait for the timestamps. You ready? Scorpio. <sighs> Coming into this new moon week, we have emotions are running high, super moon. That is extremely perfect for you. I can't say how much this energy is absolutely perfect for you. So, in terms of romance and love and sex... There's a lot of energy that's flooding through your system. Maybe it feels so huge and so much. You feel like every single vein in your body is about to burst and explode. And maybe you've recognized or realized that you have been exploding a lot. So this coming weekend, there's just a lot of intensity towards your emotions. It's as if it's out of control. But there's also an intensity towards your experiences with others. So this tends to be... Um, a feeling of intensity toward a specific person. So this would be if you have a person in your life, if you don't have a person in your life, you could be feeling very, very amorous toward many people or just feel something in the air. Like maybe there's a lot of potential around or you feel a great deal of arousal all the time. Um, base, ugh, something's in my eye, I apologize. An intensity that's running through your veins this coming weekend out to the next week, which will bring you closer to the next full moon, which will be in Leo, another very intense fire energy full moon. So there's no end to the intensity that you're going to be experiencing starting next weekend. And um, it, the reason it's perfect for you is because you relish this kind of intensity. Um, this could be this feeling of of so much. I really don't know how it's going to be placed is what I'm trying to say. And maybe the next card will give me more understanding of how the intensity will come out. But for right now, the intensity is just intensity. So what it could mean, Scorpio, is, I mean, to the point where you're exploding and screaming and yelling and you break up and then make up or you're feeling so much more amorous towards somebody than you normally would. Whatever it is, the emotions are running high. And the truth that I know is that the truth will come out because these kind of emotions leave no room for interpretation. So this kind of emotional intensity does not enable anybody on the other side or you yourself to be able to hold any feelings or emotions back. There will be no holds barred. I don't know how you're going to be communicating it to somebody, but I do know that it, whether like it or not, here it comes. Let's look at this. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Okay, so this is a whole different understanding. This has to do with being very, very amorous 
um, being very, very connected, feeling very, very loving and supportive and, and just wanting to be all over the person that you're with or meeting somebody that speaks your language, feeling for the first time your heartbeat in your chest after a long period of feeling dead inside because you finally found somebody who speaks like you, talks like you. And it may not even be that you're, you're, you may be seeing them over the internet. You may be seeing them, um, you may be meeting them for the first time on a date. You may be seeing them across a crowded room and just be getting their number, or this could actually be the person that you're with. Whatever it is, there's so much intensity toward not only your feelings, but your connection with this other person this weekend, this coming weekend, um, that it just feels like this is going to go on forever. I, there is a sense, I, and I can't help but say this, but there is this ominous sense of change, which is, um, which is preceded by this emotional intensity. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is a change in partners or a change in your relationship dynamic. Um, this could be the energy of, actually finally asking somebody for your hand in marriage or vice versa being feeling so close that the two of you have never felt this close before i just don't know if this kind of intensity is going to last what i'm saying is scorpio this could be a last hurrah this could be that last push of energy toward a relationship you were trying to keep together the kind of energy that makes you doubt or question whether you ever want to let this person go this feeling of the way it was at the beginning. Um, but that usually comes right before the end. Whatever this is, it is so much energy that it, it really is not going to last. The intensity of the energy is not going to last. So you could be meeting somebody that you have a strong, strong connection with. I don't know if it's going to go beyond that weekend. You could be meeting somebody that you have. It, it, I almost feel like there is an intensity or an intuition that for the first time you have spotted a person that you really connected to, or you feel them or feel that the existence is almost like an awakening, an awakening. It's like you feel the existence of a person that you didn't know existed or that, that you'd basically given up on. If that makes any sense at all, that's the energy of so much like, in other words, having your antenna, double or triple how far it it reaches and because of that that intensity that amplification you've connected with somebody that was too far out of your reach but now that that you've it's almost like that push that finally hits that that lever that strikes off something for the rest of your life and it, it needed that push. Now this intensity isn't going to last, but what it creates, the wave that it creates is going to set something off and set something into motion. So what I, I'm saying is that Scorpio, this is almost like the catalyst, the catalyst to a great event that's coming in your life. But I'm feeling waves running for months out. But this is a catalyst that's happening. And I would not be surprised if the partner you're with right now, there's such an intensity, but that intensity is radiating primarily from you. You're connecting deeper. You're connecting harder. You're connecting um, crazier than you've connected in a while. And I think that this is a, um, not a warning sign. It's a, it's a signal that... It's like a life-changing event is coming closer. And it's almost like emotionally you can feel that. And when I mean life-changing event, I mean love. I mean love. Something in your love life, an intensifying circumstance is coming. And I think this is that energy that is, is catalyzing it or rec recognizing it and then, and then sending back that message that yes, I'm here too, type of energy. If you are curious about who is coming toward you, that link, Scorpio, is below. All right, let's go on to Capricorn. No, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius at 9.55. All right, Sag, let's see what your cards were. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So anytime, stop it. Puppy's eating my chair. Anytime this card comes up, I always say go to Astrology Cafe. No, I do not get promoted by them, but go to astrologycafe.com and get your natal chart. It's a really easy system and platform to put in all your information. And please, please, please get your natal chart. Because anytime this North Node or South Node comes out, I want people to check where their North Node or South Node is. This is the North Node card. North Node is what you have most difficulties with in life, but it is the challenges of the North Node, of the zodiac sign that your North Node falls in that is going to teach you how to be the best version of yourself in this lifetime. So Sagittarius, what you're being called to do is be the best, best version of yourself this coming weekend. There is um, a moment that's going to call, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you in terms of your romantic and love life maybe sexual love life whatever it is it's not going to be the most comfortable it's not going to be easy flowing it's not going to be spontaneous it's not going to be natural to you so what you want to have to do is dig real deep into what your north node teaches you in order for you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you possibly can be that kind of energy will guide you through this moment. Now, what does it mean? Step out of your comfort zone. It could very well mean that, well, see, you usually don't have, stop, you usually don't have a problem making the first move. Um, maybe you have a problem, maybe, maybe it's less, it's less interesting for you to take the back seat. Maybe there's somebody that you have wanted to reach out to that you maybe had problems with in the past, but you've been thinking about them and it's not like you to apologize, but maybe that's what you have to do. Whatever it is that is out of your comfort zone, that is out of that realm of what you would normally do, next weekend is the weekend to do it. You're being called to do something that is not comfortable for you. And usually it's because they're on the other side. There's an energy waiting for a specific demonstration from you. There's an energy that's waiting to know how you feel, whether if it's to know that you don't love them anymore or know that you love them very much, to know that you, you're apologetic or to, to know to, for some reason that you have to stand your ground. Whatever it is, this suggests that there is an opposite entity on the other side that's demanding some sort of sign, signal, or demonstration from you. And it's time for you to do what is uncomfortable for you to meet that connection and connect and connect up and link up so that, and this is all energetic so that, so that the energy continues to flow. There's a little bit of destiny here because the North node kind of taps us into what our assignment is on this earth when we get here, right? What, what, what we're really supposed to be focused on, even though it's going to be difficult for us, the, the difficulties and the challenges in our life are here to make us stronger. It's like the energetic workout, the energetic personal trainer is what the North node is. So it's like, you're being asked to muscle up and to get your butt in the energetic gym next week so that you can face these things and do some strength training for what is needed to happen. There's a little bit of destiny and future progress here. So there's something that you're being asked to do next weekend. Oh, wow. Spiritual connection. A, spir a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, so this is an intense energetic connection that is once again destiny because it was assigned to you or, or it's a soul connection that happened even before you were born so stepping out of your comfort zone and i'll tell you right now you're going to get the cues and signals you're not going to be left on your own here in terms of love and what you've always desired and what you've basically been destined for been assigned to there is this energy this call this calling coming what did i say from the opposite side somebody just connected to you that you need to reach out to so and this could be you could be totally single right you could be in a relationship but having not admitted to yourself that the relationship isn't working you or, or you could be, there's something that's going to happen. You're going to be called to do something that you normally would not do. It will be very, very clear. Uh, there will be no mistaking <laughs> this energy, Sagittarius. It's just, are you going to decide to do it? It could be what leads you to the person you're destined to be with. It, it could be stepping on a plane. Actually, stepping on a plane would not, it could be staying at home 
turning down the, um, I, I don't know. I don't know because it's based on your North node, not on your Sun sign. So, but I'm just giving examples. For Sagittarius, um, usually travel is, is very easy. They just want to pick up and go, right? You guys are the ultimate travelers, but sometimes not, right? So if you're a homebody, and normally you would say no to opportunities, say yes to the opportunity. You have to, because it's, you're, it's a stepping stone to what you're destined, to a, a romantic destiny. Um, um, if you normally would hop on a plane, and, um, but you have work to do, and you know that it, this wouldn't be the best weekend to travel, and you don't want to, stay home. Stay home. You wouldn't normally make that choice. You normally jump on the plane, right? Instead, make the choice to stay home because something is coming to your homestead or in your hometown and you might bump into somebody at the grocery store. Whatever it is that makes you feel awkward, that's what you're going to do next weekend because there is a some sort of like sensory beep, beep, beep on the other side that's, that's, a, that's calling to you and that's asking you to be present in this moment. And it has to do with, I think the way that you'll know this is a special connection is because you normally wouldn't have been there had it not been for this hunch, for this intuitive understanding that you were supposed to do this. If you're in a long-term happy relationship with somebody, you know, you could have to step out of your comfort zone to say, okay. I'm, I've got to be the one that basically takes out the garbage and does all the chores this week because I, I can feel them getting angry, getting tense, and, and it building up and feeling unappreciated. So now I'm going to be the one. I'm, just going to, I'm not going to make them ask for it. I'm just going to step up and do it myself. That kind of energy. You know, it doesn't have to be that you're getting out of a relationship. No, you could be in a very happy relationship. But whatever it is, it's that you will be doing something that is out of character for you, but will be benefiting the other side. Even if it's another side that you haven't met yet. You know what I'm saying? So you're just you're responding and answering to a hunch that normally isn't like you. Or if you're in a relationship, it is deciding to just do something for them or uh, that would benefit the other side without having to be asked for it to make that link and that connection you understand that's really interesting energy so please go find out what your north node is and if you're interested in who is coming towards you Sagittarius that link is in the extended below different kinds of could be their zodiac sign their physical features their profession all different kinds of information comes out so hopefully I'll see you over there kisses stop stop okay we go to Capricorn at 1803 stop not you, Capricorn. Please keep watching. My puppy is tearing apart my room. Ugh, interesting. So, Capricorn energy. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Now, this comes upon a really great time because a new moon in Aquarius is coming up. Um, show the world the real you. <laughs> Capricorn. Go ahead, let it out. It's 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 asked you that question. When you're being called, it's almost like there could be there there could have been a pattern of repression, a pattern of suppression, a pattern of basically making a decision to be who you think the person on the other side needed you to be. But you're being called this weekend to be absolutely honest. And I think it's because maybe you have not been honest for a long time. Um, and that, that could just be to your detriment. It could be that you have settled too long. It could be that you've allowed people to come into your life that didn't deserve you or that didn't satisfy you just so you wouldn't be alone. Um, it could also be that you've let, you feel like you've let things slip and that your relationship has gotten out of balance because you know, you're giving everything and the other person isn't. So it's like, yes, I know it's part of you to honestly just do everything all the time, but are you happy about it? Because this is about, um, in other words, this is about emotional and philosophical happiness. It's not just about um, 
It's not just about material happiness. So what are you really feeling? I think there's some sort of realization or truth that's going to come out this coming weekend. It could be about somebody's feelings for you. You know, it could be about your feelings for somebody. You could get into a situation where you see an ex or um, you meet somebody brand new. It doesn't matter, but there, there's an inclination to hold back and not show them what you're feeling or what you think of them. Don't do that. Be flat out, straight up honest with somebody this, this coming weekend, Capricorn. Love endures. Okay. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Yeah, you're going to have to be honest. And this, to me, is more for a long-term relationship. Has somebody not been playing their role? Has somebody been disappointing you? Have you been afraid? Like, what are emotions? Because this has to do with the water. What are you really feeling? Are you afraid? Are you afraid they're going to leave you if you if you behave a different way? If you give up something, are you afraid that, no, I, I feel like this person wants to be with you long term. What they're asking and needing is to understand you, to understand what you really need. And perhaps it's been suppressed for too long, Capricorn. So the energy here is very, very clear and very, very simple. Believe and have confidence in the other person, which I know is not necessarily the easiest position for you to put yourself in, but you're being told it's okay. Universally, next weekend, maybe through the, the following week, it is okay to be vulnerable and emotionally open and honest with somebody. It's also okay to stick up for yourself. Whatever it is that is true, true to your nature, I do feel like you found somebody that's going to go long term with you. Who cares about you? If you open up to them, they're not going to retreat. Now, for some of you, a truth could be coming out about somebody that did emotionally retreat from you. Somebody who did back away from you and abandon you and a truth could be coming out an, an an honest um statement that could help you understand why they behave the way that they behaved some sort of acknowledgement or knowledge information coming in to help clarify this for you now i've been getting this information for you i feel like i had this information for you a couple of weeks ago too so there is a sense of the water bearer this new moon welcoming in a truth information that you need and have needed for a while uh, maybe because you've been carrying a torch for somebody love endures even through hard times that's great but is it deserved so maybe if you've been carrying a torch for somebody or, you know, the feelings haven't died, even though the relationship did. There's a clarification and an understanding here of why it ended that hopefully will make it easier for you to relinquish those emotions that are hurting you instead of helping you. So, good stuff, actually. If you're curious about who could be coming towards you, which includes their zodiac sign, their facial features, even sometimes their profession, whatever information comes out, that link is below Capricorn. I hope to see you over there. All right, let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Here we go. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So this has to do with Venetian energy because Taurus is ruled by Venus. This is the planet of love as well as beauty. So something aesthetic, somebody, somebody beautiful and enticing coming into your life, Aquarius. Somebody that that basically inspires you and interests you and, and you know, kind of in, gets your juices flowing. Um, you may want to just observe them for a while. You might want to calmly um, casually speak to them and not reveal your emotions but there is an intensity here toward your attraction to this person or they're attracting this to you hopefully mutual vice versa this coming weekend is going to be a very love lovely beautiful week for you in terms of love maybe you haven't felt this intense about somebody in a while you know maybe somebody hasn't sparked your interests in this way in a while they will spark your interest because that is how you find love but they will also sort of spark your, um, they will be very aesthetically pleasing. That's a little bit, in the extended, we'll get into who's coming towards you. We'll get into those details. Um, that link is below Aquarius. But in terms of the energy, there is, think of what you want ideally in love. 
what it what it is that really and like gets you into somebody somebody that gets you thinking somebody that's kind somebody who does things for others and and thinks outside of themselves somebody who is hot let's put it that way let's just be straight and blunt and honest because you like pretty things too but this is wonderful venus driven taurus energy so in other words this person could be a stabilizing force into your life too welcome in do those manifestations next weekend aquarius because this just could just be that perfect time for you especially on your new moon which is always a good time to welcome in new things into your life be very very specific you know and don't be held up like don't be afraid to say i want this to look good mm. you know they got to be fine and they got to stay fine they got to inspire me they got to keep my interest like, don't be scared to just be honest and be say exactly what you want. But I feel like there is an intensity. So it's more, it's it's less manifesting and more actually meeting somebody next week. Ow, my back is hurting. I apologize. Um, meeting somebody, even if it's across a crowded room type of energy, that sense of, whoa, you know, just not your eyes. Let yourself look like a stalker across the room next weekend, Aquarius. Seriously, be, just just let it happen. Just be honest because if you can't take your eyes off of them, you want them to know, I can't take my eyes off you. I just can't take my eyes off you. What do you have to say about that? Kind of thing, you know, like, like just be, do you be like, that's, it could also very well be that somebody who loves you is very bountiful and, and showering you with a lot of affection, a lot of gifts, because Taurus does like material gifts. You know, those earth signs love like Capricorn. They love ma material demonstrations. So this could be, especially if you're in a long-term relationship, an actual, I, I don't know, step outside and you got a car <laughs> energy. Oh, an engagement ring, something that is material, but absolutely what beautiful, stunning. And they could be showering you with these gifts. You don't know. You could wake up to roses in the kitchen, followed by petals that lead to the bedroom with a beautiful Tiffany's box on the bed. You know, like there's some sort of physical demonstration and abundance. This could also be like getting approved for a loan and, and, and being able to look forward to moving into your first house together. This could be um, um, good news on something that you two of you have been putting together or working on that's going to bring in more prosperity, more money. This could be found money. This has something to do with you getting closer in love, Aquarius, through material goods and material items. So you are limitless. And this is a very Aquarian card. Why? Because it's eclectic and dreamy as well as kind of aspirational. And this is just very Aquarian energy. Unicorns always remind me of Aquarius because they're idealists and they're they're basically the image of the ideal, absolute ideal beauty, ideal morality, ideal ethics, ideal power, ideal strength. They're healers. So this is, to me, this is my card of you found the one. This is somebody who is as unique as a unicorn. They're the unicorn. They're the Holy shit, I thought this person never, I never, I never thought this person was real. I never couldn't even imagine this person actually being alive, but they are. This is the unicorn. This is the unicorn that you've been asking to come into your life. Now, it doesn't mean that you, depending on where you are in your relationship, it doesn't mean that you're going to get married next weekend. You may be. And if so, congratulations. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, but this is definitely finding that unique person. It's also finding the diamond in the rough. So it could very well be that you see, and this is often your trait, is that you can see potential in a place that other people can't. You can see opportunity where other people can't because you're just looking deeper and farther. And you see things in a different way, like you're seeing through um, uh, kaleidoscope eyes all the time. And because of that, you just look at the world in a different way and things have different potential for you. So this could be a broadening and mind expanding time for you in terms of love, in terms of seeing potential in somebody that everybody else passed up and you being absolutely right about them. Whatever it is, there's this love connection coming in that maybe you gave up on basically seeing somebody's truth and somebody's beauty through their every day um 
for all you know, this could be you looking at who you think is the janitor at the party, talking to them all night long and realizing what an awesome freaking person they are. Making a date with them just because you love the conversation and they're intriguing and finding out they weren't the janitor at the party. They were the motherfucker that owned the building throwing the party. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like that energy. Just let your truth be your guide, right? Just let, just let what you're really interested in and really, really honestly care about, let it be your guide. Because whatever, what, whoever's coming into your life they are next weekend. They are attached to a great deal of abundance that may not be so obvious at first. So if you're really curious about who, like I said, the extended, the extended video is below. Okay. Let's move on to Pisces at 3051. Let's do this. Pisces. What card is for you guys? Time, uh, take time to breathe out. Mm. Oh, God, this is such a beautiful moon. Oh, I love this card. Look at how pretty. You see the subtleties of the colors, Pisces? This is very much watercolors. This is very much green and blue and placid and calming. And honestly, this is like whew, whew, that kind of energy. So either you just dodged a bullet and you're seeing how good that is. More information may be coming in next weekend, just how lucky you were to have this person out of your life because they were an absolute SHIT show and you didn't know it and you thought things were so good and maybe you thought you even lost somebody special, but they were not special. This is an energy of like, I just dodged a bullet. Or this is an energy of, wow, finally meeting somebody that is actually nice and actually a good person. This is more the energy of dodging a bullet though. I really have to say, <laughs> Pisces, I know we all want to, we all want to hear like our true love is going to come in. That very well could be. Um, but like if you dodge a bullet, that means you've lived to move on and live another day, which means that this could have bought you to this moment of prosperity and abundance coming this coming weekend, which is just you being in a safe place. It could very well be you being with somebody and realizing they make you feel safe. And for me as a Cancerian, that is like check number one. If I feel safe around somebody, that is an, a really good sign. So this is an energy of feeling safe, feeling, feeling like you're surrounded by, now this could just be you're surrounded by a group of people and you're feeling like I really belong here. I love this place. That's a good sign. I'll tell you how that's, that's linked to romance, love and sex because if you're amongst people that you feel that way toward, now you're going to you're going to um, draw in more people who you feel that way for. Do you understand? Like it's like it's like that's a good place to start bringing in somebody who is actually really gonna love you the right way. That's a great baseline feeling to have of being able to exhale, right? Um, Oh, I love that song, that Whitney song. Maybe I'll try to attach it above. I uh, know. I gotta write that down. Um, yep. Writing it down because I love that song. I love my Whitney. So this is you can you can exhale. It's like finally you've accepted a truth, finally you've learned a truth, finally you found somebody that makes you feel safe. This is that energy of being in the right place, of like. Ooh, maybe maybe you're just happy that somebody wasn't a jerk. <laughs> uh, oh, love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So this is reconciliation, not reconciliation. Um, not reconciliation, uh, resolution. That's what this energy is. And I love how these cards always clarify. There is an energy here of resolution to a problem that has been a long-standing issue or hurt or harm. Maybe something that's actually impeded you being in love or been sitting between you and your partner for quite some time and you've been avoiding it, not talking about it, yada, yada, yada. End of the day, 
this is resolution. You can finally exhale. So Pisces, this is a great step toward that strong love connection that I know that you want in your life. This is a great why, because this is resolution towards something that was impeding it. This is final release and let go. This could be forgiveness, a discussion that you have to have. It could be an emotional discussion. You know, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a long conversation, though it is noted that there is some sort of communication coming. It could just be when it comes to music, it could just be driving in your car or listening to a radio and a song that comes on that makes you cry and it makes you release those feelings that you've had that you have not been able to share with anybody. And that release itself is the exhale that you needed to be able to have and live the beautiful life that you want and be able to welcome in the love that you really desire. Like I said, if this is long-term partnership, this could be, shoot, they could be calling in a radio station and dedicating a song to you. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could hear your song on the radio that you danced to at your wedding and let go of all the hurt or all the upset and frustration that you have been feeling. This has been a truly emotional time for water signs. From the Cancerian full moon, which was still affecting a lot of us, all the way through this Aquarian new moon, which was helping us to broaden and expand ourselves. Water signs especially have really been put through the gamut. So this is a little bit of a relief. Uh, oh my God, this feels so good. Um, whatever the situation was that was climbing and, you know, you could just be relieved that the person showed up. You thought, oh my God, they weren't going to come and they walk through the door and, and it, it makes you feel like, oh my God, your heart wants to cry, enjoy and release because that was a demonstration that you needed. There's a lot of signs of, I know Scorpio and Sagittarius, especially that were, were, being incited to demonstrate and show what they what they really feel what they really need i think capricorn was too so this could very well be you being on the opposite side of that and being able to actually get receive that message like needing so badly that message and getting the message you need to relax release and let go now if there is a person walking in the room that you desperately wanted to meet we can see who that is. Let's see. There's there's an extended uh, reading below. That link is in the description box. If you're curious about who is coming towards you, that's the reading to go see. So hopefully I'll see you over there, Pisces. Um, let's look at 3716. Aries. Aries energy. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So you're reconfiguring your energies and you're just getting back into a sense of emotional stability. There could have been some sort of upset or disturbance in the force when it comes to your relationships, or you could just be feeling really good and really happy. Like you finally found a balance in your relationship or, or in your, in your life in general, when it comes to love, it's almost like with love and romance itself, you have found a compromise. You have found an emotional, peaceful balance that you needed in your life areas. And this is that really loving, healing energy of Pisces and that sort of unconditional, you can say anything to me, you can tell me anything, that really emotionally accepting energy of true love, true love and unconditional love. It could be something that you're giving to yourself or it could be coming in from a partner. It could be finding somebody that makes you feel safe and balanced, but I don't necessarily feel it's a new person coming in. I feel like it's stability with where you are right now, happiness and contentment with the feeling that where you're living right now. So that's for next weekend. For this coming weekend, that's the romantic tarot that's already up. Go take a look at that. Um, I also did get a prediction. I remember, uh, I remember Aries, the, in, the intensity of your reading. Um, you might want to check out your, your reading uh, <clears throat> on Vimeo for the seven days in advance, the week ahead romance, because there was a sense of some sort of resolution that needed to be made, um, some sort of explosion that might have happened. And this is almost like the calm after the storm of acceptance and coming to peace with whatever came out or where you are right now um physical touch tender touch can mean so much 
In other words, say you just broke up with somebody. This could be you meeting somebody that makes you very glad you're single again. This could be you actually coming into physical contact. You Somebody demonstrating through f their physical presence with you how much they matter to you, how much they mean to you. Uh, a resolution of sorts through physical demonstration, which is very good for you. Or being able to show somebody you, show somebody out loud how you feel about them because by kissing them, by holding them, by touching them, making love to them. Um, this is sharing and demonstrating. Or in other words, knowing that you're in the right place with the right person because of how they touch you. You understand? Um, meditate and contemplate. It's also maybe realizing then that when they touch you, they're not the right one because their touch doesn't feel the same anymore, right? It's going to be when they touch you, when you kiss, when you're together, that physical reaction that happens between the two of you is going to reveal a truth that you're going to have to think about and, and work to take time to understand. Maybe this is the one and it's going to take you time to just let that sink in to be like I, you know this it's not necessarily something that you expected to feel comfortable with or you're going to take you know you need to think about it you need to think about what just happened here right or it's a uh, i don't feel what i used to feel the sensation isn't the same like i can feel like something has died it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just that touch is going to make you think, think, and have to really get honest with yourself and be truthful with yourself deep down. What does this touch mean? What does the reaction mean? If it sparks you and makes you feel alive, or does it make you feel numb and bored and dull, like you're kissing a dead thing? It is not any reflection upon the other person. It's just the chemistry between the two of you. That kiss, that touch is going to tell you so, so much about the chemistry between the two of you. It's going to be undeniable Aries and whatever it is, it's going to be right. It's going to be something that reveals to you after you think about things, after you sort of realize them in a way that, you know, you're ready to realize, you're ready to uh, absorb into you. It's going to make you realize what you really want out of a partnership and the kind of person that you really want. Well, you know, for better or worse, this is a great conclusion to come to. But I honestly feel like there is this moment of intensity next weekend, or it could be through the next week that reveals everything about how you feel about your own circumstance and about your connection with somebody else by the way that you touch. You're either going to feel this intense sense of where have you been all my life? Or you're going to feel this intense sense of this isn't what I thought it would be. Either way, it's going to give you pause and information that you need to take the next step. So if you're curious about who is on the opposite side of this touch, then please do click the link below in the description box for the extended video, who is coming towards you. There's lots of information that pops out there, Aries. There, there are astrological signs, um, suggested um, character traits or physical traits. All those things could actually come out over there in case you're curious. Okay, 43, 35, we're going to Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Damn. Tour, Taurus, you, I think, feel like you got this card last time too. There's this energy of you getting lucky. You getting lucky. You up all night to get lucky. You up all night to get, you're going to be, you like all next weekend, you're going to be getting lucky. So this could actually be that energy of, getting lucky between the sheets, you know, laying that arrow, that arrow going into the, you know, that kind of, mm, you know what I'm saying? 
definitely getting lucky or you could just be getting lucky in terms of you aim that arrow somewhere that arrow of love we're talking about a metaphoric arrow, arrow here right now so you're talking about a metaphoric arrow Taurus you aim that arrow and it's hitting its target or somebody has aimed at you as a target and they're a person that you would want them to you know they're a person whose arrow you are happy landed on your butt okay you're happy to get struck by Cupid Cupid pull out your bow and let that arrow go because Taurus this is your week for love 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 to come into you it's hitting the right place it's hitting the target so even if you're in a long-term relationship this is a feeling of what you do and what you say all oh, perfect all going off without a hitch you don't even have to think about it it's just gonna land right making people very very happy making you happy making them happy life is happy life is good la vie en rose mm. actions speak loudly express your love through actions what i say this is an energy of you taking aim and you doing something and you showing somebody that you care and love them and it hitting its mark <clears throat> this is a good week to go for it this is a good week to make that move this is a good week to um whatever it is dude if this is the first time you're sleeping together make that move it's gonna be very well accepted if all of a sudden under the dinner table some little footsies are played or you know a hand is rubbed on a thigh it's going to lead to the right place if you see somebody at a bar and you're like damn go up to them talk to them yes if you put forth the action <clears throat> if you put forth the physical demonstration of your interest then your arrow is going to hit the mark you will be well received this coming weekend taurus and this could very well be because this is a divine this is divine energy you know um riding with spirit connected with spirit so it could very well be that there is an energy of um destiny here like you you will be picking the right person it's not just some weird thing like a weird one night stand type of thing this could go long term this is a this could be a good whatever it is you want wherever you're spiritually aligned right now i think is what i'm saying because all of you might not want a long-term relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? So whatever it is that you want, your arrow is going to land where it's supposed to be this coming weekend. And the, the demonstration of what you want is going to be well-received. So what am I trying to say, Taurus? You're going to get what you want next weekend. If you're curious about who is coming towards you, Taurus, that link is below. I hope to see you in the extended. All right. 4708. Gemini, Gemini, let's see what your energy is this coming week. Expect powerful change. This is a new moon eclipse. I mean, this, I mean, this could be, because this is the eclipse, this could be having your, your shine dulled. This could be um, being usurped. This could be the rare occasion where you don't stand out or get the person that you want because somebody, they choose somebody else instead. Uh, this could be that feeling of something that you had a lot of hope for is now gone dark. It's like the energy or the passion has dimmed out. This is the energy of, of basically, but understand eclipse energy. Yes, big changes. You never thought that you'd feel this way, but it also passes. So this could just be fleeting energy of being very frustrated with somebody, feeling like they didn't, they ignored you or they haven't been paying the correct amount of attention to you. This could be the energy of just feeling like there's a blockage, something getting in your way or some, they're, the person that you're interested in or that you're in a relationship with is making so many other things more important than you this coming weekend. And all the problems that come forward, the insecurities, the anger, the frustration. Um, hold on though focus on love look for the good in any everyone okay so this is just saying this is a temporary this is this is temporary next weekend focus on how much you love them they may be acting like a freaking beast next weekend gemini but please just keep focused on how much you love them yes emotions are running high for a lot of people um and i think that it's natural because of the cancerian full moon energy um so, and and then with the Aquarian energy, people just being open and wanting to try new things. So 
you could be losing the focus of somebody who was obsessively focused on you and you're not liking it. You know, as much as it irritated you to have all their energy on you all the time and all that responsibility that is dealing with their emotions all the time. Now that it's not on you, it's a realization of, yeah, but I don't, no, no, I want to be, I'd rather be irritated by you being too much than you just shutting everything off and not paying attention to me at all. So there will be a truth revealed in terms of how you really feel about this person. The idea is to focus on the love that you feel, to believe in it and keep focused on it while they're being a beast. No, I'm not trying to say you put up with anybody hitting you or disrespecting you, but that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is suddenly, I don't know, maybe their favorite football game and football team is in town and they'll be, they uh, normally they would have been obsessed with you and they just want to spend the weekend with you. But then they're like, oh baby, by the way, um, I'm going away with my boys this weekend because the team is playing. You know, like, there's some sort of energy like that it could be very benign, but there's an energy of there of something eclipsing you. Something suddenly becoming more important than you, a project that they're working on, maybe maybe in the worst case scenario, another person, you see their eyes starting to wander. There's an energy of, yes, putting dealing with their, the beast and knowing that deep inside that beast is still the person that you love and understanding that it could just be that they're emotional this week and understanding that the love is still there, believing in the love, even in the dark, even when it's eclipsed and even if it's gone dark because it's temporary eclipses, eclipses are temporary. They don't permanently dim the light. They pass on and they only last for a couple of hours. So Gemini just get through it this weekend. What is going to be the lasting effect, however, is what this eclipse reveals about them and about you. Right. And so, so that's what I'm saying Just watch your words. Don't be explosive. Don't be too angry. Give it time to pass because it will, because if you make any, if you make any huge decisions in this period, they'll stick. And you might not want to make these huge decisions based on this period because it is a fleeting energy and it wasn't going to last forever. But if you make a huge decision, it will last forever. So be mindful. If you're curious about who might be coming towards you or who you're dealing with, that link is below. I'll see you over there. All right, let's go to 5139. Okay. Cancer. Woo! Cancer. Whew. Let's see what we got. Let's see it. Let's see it. Have faith in your dreams. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Waxing crescent moon. This is my favorite card. It's so pretty. And this speaks of the springtime as well as the new moon and something new happening for you, Cancerians. A refreshment in that beautiful relationship that you've started, but needed that needed a little bit reinvigoration. Um, uh, the opportunity for a new person to come into your life, finally being open and available, finally being free. It's like, oh, you may have been so sad that you were single, but now all of a sudden you realize it's such a good thing that I'm single. <laughs> Because look at all these new opportunities and prosperity and abundance and beauty and happiness and joy that's coming in. This is a new beginning, a new beginning in love, a new beginning in romance, feeling like you're finally where you're supposed to be, where you want to be. Have faith in your dreams. This is also a statement, I think, more psychically speaking, that Cancerians, have you been dreaming of a specific person? Or have you been feeling somebody out there coming closer to you? Have Has, has your mind been on a specific someone? Um, this is the energy of, even if it seems totally crazy, and I... You know, I, I, I hesitate saying this because some people are crazy and they're fucking obsessed and they need a psychologist. So it's not like if somebody has told you straight up that they don't have any interest in you, you need to let them go. This energy is not for you. This is for those Cancerians that are open hearted. They're open minded. And the Aquarius new moon, that's the moon that the new moon that's coming up, uh, Cancerians, is asking us to broaden our minds and expand our minds and keep an open mind, which means letting go of all those attachments, letting go of the decisions you made in love that are keeping you stuck and actually keeping you from what you really want in your life. Because you've decided it was somebody and it's not that somebody, but you won't accept that it isn't that somebody. So you're actually blocking 
the person that you really do want and belong with. You're blocking them because you're still with the old person. So this is a letting go. This is a releasing. This is for those Cancerians who are actually open and who actually say the most beautiful and brave and intelligent um, statement you could possibly make, which is, I don't know. And we've been speaking a lot on my dailies about this. It's like, I don't know. My past relationship didn't work out. I thought that it did. Um, I really don't miss them. But at the same time, I kind of do. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Here I am. Teach me. I'm open. And it's in that openness that you're going to find a beautiful new beginning, Cancerians. Take a chance on love. I just got the chills. When we love, our lives are changed forever. This is your traveling on the same path as your person. This is the two of you have the same focus. The two of you have the same destination. This is meeting on the way because you weren't, you weren't, you were you had made a decision. You you would you were you were open in terms of love. You were focused on what you love to do. These are two people who both love doing the same thing. And they meet on the path because they were on the same path. Do you see? They're traveling together side by side toward the same destination. So that speaks to later on in your relationship. The two of you are going to be able to continue to travel that direction together. You're going to be able to travel that direction together and do combined efforts. This is a long-term thing where you're actually be building, expanding, and broadening your lives, which is a perfect person to meet on the Aquarius new moon. Somebody who will expand and broaden your life and you will expand and broaden their life. There's somebody that you can travel long distance with because you now, you're, you're in what seemed like individual dreams because you were traveling on two different paths to get to the same direction. You met along the way and now it's a combined dream, a Cancerian. This is honestly for a Cancerian, a relationship dream come true. So this is speaking of either meeting this person or being open, being open finally, like letting Letting go of that old relationship so that you can meet this person, broadening and expanding your mind in terms of not making a decision about how they look or how much money they make or where you're going to meet them. Like, don't like letting go of those obsessive mindsets that we as Cancerians can get into and allowing that Aquarian new moon to just expand your potential for love, expand your mind so that it's not stuck. And in doing so, expand your capabilities to ex help you make progress on this journey that you're on where you'll be meeting this person you're supposed to be with. So if you're curious about who's coming into your life, this is such a beautiful energy, Cancerians. I'm like overjoyed. This is really a new beginning with somebody that's going to be long term. That's what it is. It's finally you're in a place where you love yourself enough and know yourself well enough. You're on your right path. You're probably single. If you're not, this is the energy of you being with somebody that you can go long term with, realizing that the two of you want the same things out of life, um, a, a, a destination or a connection. Uh, for some of you, it may be realizing that you don't have that similarity with the person you're with right now. And broadening your mind and being okay with letting the relationship go. Not because you hate each other, but because you're not the right ones for each other. This is that energy this coming weekend, Cancerian, where normally we would not be comfortable doing that. We would hold on until our fingers bled. Actually realizing the intellect and trusting in the mind-broadening, expansive energies of, I can let this go. I can let this go because I really do want what I want. And if you're not it, then go in peace because I know that person is out there for me. There's definitely that energy there floating around too. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, hop on over to the Vimeo. Um, this could be a real good reading for you Cancerians. Uh, and I'll see you over there. Uh, the link is below in the description box. So Leo 5830. Let's see what your energy is, Leo. Hold your vision. Do not give up 
fixed moon and you're a fixed sign. Leo, I think your stubbornness will come in handy this coming weekend. Why? Because don't give up on what you believe in. Don't give up on your love. Don't give up on your standards for love. I think that's more what I'm feeling. Like emo this is emotional steadfastness. This is emotional security. So this is a don't give up on what you believe in. Your standards are not too high. They're your standards. They're the, the you have to meet somebody who lives up to them. There are 8.5 billion people on this freaking earth. There is somebody that's going to meet your standards. I always say this, even if you subtract everybody. <laughs> Even if you subtract everybody that is too old for you, too young for you, or not the right gender for you. Even if you subtract everybody who isn't attractive to you. Even if you subtract everybody who is not in the, the, the location, like close to you. You still have millions of people to choose from. You are, you do not have to settle. You do not have to settle. This is also, um, you, if you're in a long-term relationship, believing in it and relying on it and being strong in it and holding steadfast in it and, and knowing that it's part of what anchors you and, and not letting any kind of, there could be some sort of doubt or tendency toward being curious about what else is out there for me. Stay the course, stay the course with your emotional commitment, Leo, whatever that emotional commitment is, either it's to the ideal of the partner you want to be with, the commitment to the partner that you are with, stay the course, hold it, hold steadfast this coming weekend. It's very important energy for you. Um, have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always believe in this person. This is definitely long-term couples, especially believe in this person. There's also an inspiration coming from this person right to you. And once again, being remembering why you believed in them to begin with and why they matter so much for you. This is Aquarian energy. This is my star card. This is your dreams and your wishes coming true. So Leo, because you held fast and did not give up, you could be with your perfect person, right? And this coming weekend, you'll be seeing your dreams manifested in that flower blossoming in front of your eyes. I'm glad I waited for you. This could be you meeting that person. It's like, I'm glad I didn't settle. I'm glad I didn't just hand myself over to all of those, like just insecurities or, you know, stay with this person because I'm glad I, I'm glad I took the leap of faith. I'm glad I spent the time alone. I'm glad that I didn't settle or, or let people tell me that I was wrong. I'm glad that I trusted my gut here because the truth is now I found this beautiful person, this person that I've wished for, that I've manifested with my steadfast beliefs, with my standards, with all of those things. This could also be somebody that has the same vision as you. You two will be helping to develop and grow something together. Um, somebody who will help make your wishes come true because their wishes are similar to yours. This energy of you'll be glad you waited for this person. So if you're curious about who that person is, that's in the Who's Coming Toward You extended video. That link, Leo, is below. Hopefully I'll see you over there. Okay, and now we go to Virgo. 102.14, let's do this. 102.14, Virgo. A personal issue reaches resolution. Good, full moon in Cancer. This is healing energy. Ooh, shit. We just had a full moon in Cancer, didn't we? And Virgo, I knew something was going down with you because I did you check your love reading, please check your love reading um, for this week. Um, not for this week. It was it would be on last week's uh, uh, VOD page. So check that out. It's Capricorn Four VOD page. Um, do check that out because there was something popping off, so a certain sort of energy or a truth that had to come out. And that could have been happening on the Cancer full moon. So what's happening this weekend was precipitated by whatever event happened around the Cancerian full moon. Maybe an explosion of emotions, a revelation of the truth, um, demonstrate a, de a demonstration of, of, of love, um, the opportunity to heal and release and let go, to be able to accept or own um, your feelings or your conditions at home or what you've been experiencing like just these feelings of being honest with yourself so that you can make progress from a true point instead of an ideal point which is way out there and you're stretching too far to reach it and it's putting you on uneven unbalanced ground instead pulling yourself back 
to a place that may be more hurtful, but it is honest and being able to actually heal because you were honest with yourself and where you were emotionally, whether that's with your long-term partner or with a partner that you want to welcome into your life. This is an energy of, of, of being able to be helped, help yourself and help somebody else. Uh, a personal issue, issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. This, because we just had the full moon in cancer, I can't, you might want to go back and watch yes um uh last week's um last week's romantic tarot too to see where you were how you would have been affected this week um because those energies would have played into the cancerian full moon as well but this is definitely some sort of resolution it could have been something that happened from your past it, do it doesn't even have to be um having to do with <clears throat> a relationship that you're in right now or or even if you're single it it, it it's something that you held on to for a very long time in a very cancerian way, something that you held on to, something that was very emotional, something that was very hurtful, and it might have been impeding your progress or the reason why you stayed stuck in an unhealthy relationship or why you were still stuck in a relationship that wasn't working because of a truth that was not true, something that you learned uh, from a past hurt that was almost like a pearl and an oyster, you know, it, it came, it became your beautiful lie to yourself. And now that you've purged it and gotten it out, you've actually been able to heal and help yourself. What a beautiful, wonderful healing energy. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. This is definitely what I just talk about the pearl. This is also my stalker card in terms of somebody's watching you, or it could have been you not being able to let go of somebody that you were watching about realizing that you were looking at their um, Facebook page, their Instagram profile, their Twitter feed. You were almost like extending your relationship with them by stalking them, not, not really stalking, but just by, by watching them inviting yourself into parts of their life that they share with everybody which means you're not special to begin with right if you can only see what they share with a thousand followers then it's not like you're anything intimate to them but it's almost like in some ways you were pretending that you were because you had been at one time and it was the release of this energy the release of i can't do this to myself anymore like this is realizing and letting that hurt sink in letting that perceived failure sink in because I know that that's probably how you perceive this is failure. I failed in this relationship. I wasn't good enough. And that's just not true. When it comes to romantic relationships, it's not whether I was good enough or they were good enough. It's were we good together? And that's the answer is like, this is the resolution with somebody who you just have to realize and let go and realize that their happiness with their new partner or whoever they're with now doesn't mean that there was something wrong with you that you couldn't make them happy. It's that the two of you didn't make each other happy. You were with the wrong person. It wasn't anything to do with your lack of quality, ability, or capability. And I think that that's what you're realizing this week. And that might actually, and that could have been happened to you years ago. And something that you're just letting go of now that's maybe come up again because of a situation that you're having in a current relationship. And it's you realizing, I really have to stop making how well I do in relationships reflect upon who I am or my capabilities or qualities as a person, because that's not helping me at all. In fact, it's hurting me and I don't want to be in another hurtful relationship. I don't, I don't want to be used. I don't want to be worn out. I don't want to be sad all the time. And I don't want to be constantly making adjustments for the sake of staying in a relationship that probably should have ended years ago or a relationship that may be more on the rocks than I want to admit. And if I admit it, then I can actually maybe start to heal it and help it. This is an energy of what you learned from this long ago circumstance or situation or from this situation that was very, very difficult for you to release. So this is a very like matured, beautiful. Now I realize it. Now I get it. Now I see it. A beautiful truth coming through on this Aquarius new moon. It's perfect timing for you. So maybe if you want to see who's coming towards you, who was involved in your past, what kind of what relationship I was talking about, 
that's the kind of information that will come out in the who's coming towards you uh, reading. That is the extended reading to this video. That link is in the description box below, Virgo, and I do hope you check that out. Um, and then we have Libra. All right, Libra, you had a great reading last week. <laughs> this is supposed to be a phenomenal weekend for you. So let's see how the energies going forward are for you. Um, Libra, what do you need to release? Waning moon. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. Look how pretty that is. There's so many colors in that beautiful card. I love this. This is the potential that comes from letting go. This is the potential and the openness and the free space that we leave for ourselves in relinquishing all of those old fears and being able to relinquish those old attachments. This is that energy Libra of being able to finally see possibilities where you once saw only fear and scary forest. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't see the forest as scary anymore. You can see it tree by tree. You can see all the moss and all the vines, not as like tentacles trying to like trap you, but as in really interesting uh, shapes and really interesting colors and to see them for the beauty that they are. This is the energy of being able to release any kind of negative connotations that something had had or this uh, sensation of um, what do you need to release of have I been holding on to something too long that's actually getting in my way of something really beautiful. This is that energy of I'm not a bad person if you know, if I let this relationship go, I'm not a failure. If this relationship didn't last me to the day that I died, I'm not a failure. If my spouse isn't happy all the time, sometimes it's about them, not about me. You know, it's about releasing any kind of negative, negative connotation toward yourself. Virgo's uh, energy was a little bit similar, but this is more an ending for you. Definitely a release, a forgiveness and a resolution A forgiveness being you cutting those emotional tethers to all the pain and the hurt and the suffering that something from long ago, um, that something from long ago was, uh, was causing you. Um, there's also this beautiful energy of being able to see a light in the dark and find something beautiful in the hurt and the pain. So this could be definitely um, coming upon this new potential or this new, um, you know, yeah, the new potential for a new relationship or even just sort of broadening your mind into what a relationship is and, and what kind of maybe what kind of relationship you can have with somebody. You know what I'm saying? That would, would make you happy where once upon a time it wouldn't have made you happy. Like you needed this to have a relationship that made you feel good. And now you're realizing, I don't need those things. Like the relationships are very different. And if you broaden and expand your ability to just be happy with what you have, you will solve a lot of problems. Um, listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So this is about somebody communicating their feelings to you. This is about the truth, a, a truth coming out, sharing and releasing your feelings, the two of you, but being very kind and being very gentle and being very understanding, listening. I do see this. If this is an ending to a, a relationship, this is a very amicable ending to a relationship. This is a, hey, we don't hate each other. We actually still love each other. This is just not something that we want to keep going in terms of who we have sex with, in terms of, um, this is finding some sort of compromise, some sort of, um, some sort of mutual understanding. This is also, even if you're in a wonderful relationship, listening to how the other person feels and making the relationship even more wonderful, like by, by just broadening and expanding those things, not that you will allow, but that you will um, incorporate, you know, it's, it's not just about giving them what they want to shut them up. It's about actually hearing their needs and being comfortable with it and being open to being comfortable with, with their needs. But that first starts with honesty and truth. And so this is the conversation of Libra. I would not be surprised if you're having a heart to heart with your significant other, um, this coming weekend, or, or if you're single, it could just be, you know, like hearing the needs of somebody where other people couldn't understanding what they really mean with what they say and being able to talk to them and just being able to um, basically receive this could also be about being on the receptive end of 
somebody exposing how they feel about you, um, being listening to the way somebody else feels about you. I'm not really sure that you feel completely the same way, but this is definitely a sense of somebody releasing on you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I heard that. No, I didn't heard it. I pulled a Phil Dumphy. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, that could also be too. <laughs> They could be releasing on you, Libra. Um, and hey, you could be totally cool with that. You could have actually asked them. <laughs> but this is an energy of being on the receptive end of uh, somebody else's sharing, sharing of their feelings for you, right? And 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 maybe like this is this is this is not just releasing. This is opening and broadening yourself to. Like this could be trial and error. It's not like you're going to meet your true love next week if you're a single Libra, but this is an energy of opening your mind, opening your mind to new potential and, and, and new things that would make you happy. So if you're curious about who you may be dealing with this weekend, <laughs> Um, maybe get a little insight into them. Uh, that link is below in the extended who's coming towards you. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I'm so grateful. Guys, remember this is for next weekend out through the weekend before, uh, uh, the weekend, the week after. So if you're curious about this week's, uh, this week's kind of energy, then please do check the video on demand romance readings and also check the other romantic tarot on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you next week.